Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. We're in Stinky's Diner and there's a bit of a quiz going on in here. A trivia quiz to be exact and we need to win it because the prize is another one of these Horsemen of the Apocalypse figures. Now um, it seems as though we're going to have to manipulate people's answers to, to win this thing. <clears throat> what we worked out last time is that Lincoln seems to just copy whatever we tell him the answer is. Um, Sybil just gives the correct answer. And then we've got our friend the bug over here, who we're trying to figure out what he actually does on that. So let's have a look at the uh, question this time. Which of these women's names is, al is also the name of a herb? Okay, so the answer, <clears throat> we know the answer. Let's, uh, let's enter again, trivia pad. Uh, so, Sybil's going to go for this one. We can go for A, B, or D, <coughs> dependent on what we tell Never mind. our friend over here. <coughs> but we're going to have to figure out exactly how this works. Uh, so, let's talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes, hook a brother up. Okay, so we think that it's B. We think it's B. Thanks for the tip. No worries. Um, so he's going to go for B. Sybil's going to go for C. C U A L. Represent. So can we go for... Let's go for D. Let's see what the bug does. And then we'll try and figure out what he's doing. Um, we're going to go for D, just because it's a stupid answer. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. And I'm going to pour I some water while C. we're doing this, because I oh, forgot to do it. Only C was an option. Wrong. No. Okay. I chose B. I appreciate a man unafraid to flaunt his ignorance. <laughs> Wrong. All right. The answer is D. D. No, it is not. <laughs> not. We also chose D. That's either sad and wrong, or wrong and sad. <coughs> so we The answer was one nobody chose. A. Right. What? She's lying. Time for a new question. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? Okay, a, so. Grant. <laughs> B. The Who. C. Abbott and Costello. D. Spam. Right, so it seems as though, because we've, we've done D twice now, and the bug's also done D. So... <clears throat> Obviously, Sybil's going to go A here. So let's try and think about this. If we make... Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes. Hook a brother up. Right. You can do B. We think it's B. Great. I'll go with that. Sybil's going to go A. See you, AL. So let's see if the bug goes for D again. Maybe Whee! he just goes for the letter D every time. Uh, we're going to go Abbott and Costello. <laughs> Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose A. Of course you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. <laughs> I chose B. I appreciate a man unafraid to flaunt his ignorance. Wrong. The answer is D. D. Yeah, so he does. <clears throat> we chose C. No, that's wrong. Oh, I guess it must be right. Ha. <laughs> We played you. Well, congratulations. I'm really annoyed that you won, but I'm far too magnanimous to let it bother me. Sure, sure, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open source. Nice. <clears throat> oh, see how he slumps in his saddle. Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Oh. Choke a toddler, blind a toddler. Hmm. Eviscerate? <sighs> well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. I bet it did. <clears throat> I bet it did. What did it do? What's it done? Nothing obvious just yet. Can we go into Sybil's or is it literally just closed? It says it's closed. Sybil's not here. It's closed. Okay. Open 24 hours unless I don't feel like it. <laughs> or a giant robot costs the entire building a city block. Yeah. Well, that'll do it as well. Let's look at these posters. Live free or die. Lovely. This was a lot more exciting than manly deeds, womanly words, the Maryland story. Earn your degree. Do you want to make more money, Max? Sure, we all do. Shark diving. Targeted nice. ominous marketing. I like that. <laughs> Crime watch. That Orwellian touch brightens up any neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> all right okay well we've got bosco so we haven't been in here yet oh look what's going on there is that what's his face jimmy could be right anyway let's go into um canada sells us to macro hardcore <laughs> us and m season <laughs> leather <laughs> Sam. oh my god welcome to bosco's inconvenience please wait while i determine whether you are truly welcome or if i am just uttering idle pleasantries Nothing says inconvenience like a full body search before you can buy your candy cigarettes and all day suckers. <laughs> you have been deemed not unacceptable. Oh, come on. Well, oh, not unacceptable. <laughs> I was going to say. Bosco, your disguise. It's, it's, it's hideous. Claw my eyes out, Sam. I can't bear to look at it. Not if I claw my own eyes out first. What's he wearing? Buddy. I'm not wearing a disguise. <laughs> wow. I forgot how ugly you were without a wig or hat or something. <laughs> My package! Poor Bosco. Uh, why no disguise? What, no hilariously inadequate disguise this time? Sam, 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 you poor, naive fool. Don't you realize the time for disguises is... I didn't, bad? no. Yeah, you poor, naive fool. Don't you realize that? <laughs> Quiet, head knuckle. A disguise could never protect you from... T-H-E-L. Who? Them? <laughs> you scared me! Who's them? Who's them? Ah! That's the exactly screen. what I'm trying to figure out. I'm watching, I'm listening, and I will find T-H-E-M. Well, if you do, tell them... Ah! Okay, this is getting old fast. <laughs> them. Them. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! The scream. What's with your store? What's with your store? I'm not sure if you noticed, but this ain't a store no more, man. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I haven't noticed anything. <laughs> of course you I've haven't. I've got a hundred trillion dollars and a thousand of faceless enemies. I don't need to sell anything. Then why keep the place open? I'm a people person. Right. Of course. Uh, the store looks great, man. The store looks uh, interesting. It ain't a store no more. Yeah, so you and said. Did you know people who say that something looks interesting are more likely to be serial killers? Really? More likely than who? Than non-serial killers. <laughs> it's a fact. A fact they don't want you to know. Oh, uh, them again? Me to know. Exactly. Okay, what's with the door scanner? What's with the fancy dance scanner, Bosco? Tools are necessary. Tools are the only things that separate us from the animals. That probably plays a little better with the non-dog and rabbit yeah. ground. <laughs> That's why I need the personal antipathy registration annulment and non-negational omnifunctional identification device. I see. That's just paranoid. <laughs> Technically, yes it is. Yes it is. Who's your decorator? My regards to your decorator. Yeah, what's the style? Early colonial conspiracy theorist? <laughs> no, a theorist is somebody who has a theory. I have conspiracy facts. Ah, of course so, you do. I guess you'd be a conspiracy factist. He's <laughs> certainly not a cluist. Because <laughs> he doesn't have a clue. Yes. Yeah, I got it. Well done, Max. Thank you for explaining the joke. Do you have any... Do you have any bulletproof edible underwear? I don't have anything. This ain't a store. Well, you so keep saying, but... Do you have any Lords of Leaping and or Maids of Milking? I told you this ain't a store. Yeah, we're going to keep asking, though, because we like seeing what you have you to say. Do you have any inflatable arms capable of being used as replacements for your real arms? Or the specific. I just tell you this ain't a store no more? Yeah, but it's making you mad, and we like that, so... Do you have any passive-aggressive payback disguised as an innocuous customer inquiry? <laughs> doesn't even know what to say. Enough about the store. Enough about your store. It's not a... Oh, forget it. Fine. What's in the package? Say, Bosco, what's hey in guys, the... Hey, guys, does my package sound like it's ticking to you? I hope not. Not your best pickup line, Bosco. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think my package is the bomb. Now that's a pickup line. <laughs> your package is the bomb? Who would send you a bomb? My mother, of course. Oh. She sends me one every year around this time. Right. Families need traditions. So why don't you just get rid of it? I built that bomb disposal unit for that very purpose. Right. So, why don't you just get rid of it? Exactly. Because it might be the billion dollar plunger I just ordered. What a dilemma! I mean, just open it. Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticket. Get rid of it. Just get rid of your package, Bosco. But what if it's my plunger? 
I gotta be sure it's ticket. Fine. See you, Bosco. Can we? Can we just have a look at it for him then? Say, Bosco, we'll take that package off your hands for you. Step back, boy. That's mine. All right. Max Impeachment <coughs> Weekly, volumes one, two, and three. Volume four comes out next week. Oh dear. At least this trash can is the same old innocuous garbage festooned receptacle we remember it to be. Hey, stay away from my viral prionic malarial inoculator. Oh well. Yep. Weenie machine. Weenie jerky. How do they make jerky out of weenie, <laughs> Sam? You're not old enough to know. Neither am I. Oh my god, what a name. Periscope. I'm glad somebody's keeping wary of the inevitable pigeon uprising. Damn those pigeons. Can we borrow your bomb be gone? There's some obsolete landmines around the office we need to get rid of. No, if I loaned my bomb disposal unit out to everyone in the neighborhood who needed it, I'd never get it back. <laughs> you know, in this neighborhood, that's actually true. Sam and Max, um, freelance police. Let's see. Bosco spying on his own bathroom, the director from WARP TV, the L train, and hey, wait a second. That's us, Bosco. Also, isn't that the name of the uh, the sequel to Hit the Road that got cancelled before all these Telltale ones? I've got a feeling it was. Photography equipment for people who've never heard the word digital. <laughs> enlarger. It's an old photograph enlarger. I wonder if it will enlarge anything else. <laughs> <laughs> no, Max. No. Why would you need to enlarge, Max? Hey, an X-ray machine. Don't fool with that. All right, so maybe we can X-ray some things. God, we've got a lot of things here. Hubliss's master Hubliss's plan. Hubliss's master plan. Bosco's a little behind the times. That definitely was a master plan, though. Wow. So it all makes sense. <laughs> I can't see where we fit into all this, Sam. Oh, I've got a couple of walls upstairs devoted to you two. Have you now? Now we can finally confirm exactly how many different strains of bacteria live in the pickle relish. Remember, I've still got 163 in the office pool. <laughs> this is the kind of radio that eats other radios for brunch. Don't fool with that. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. Everything's stable. Well, except for the proprietor. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here, it turns out. The freezer's here. Ooh. Stay away from my cryogenic freezer. I'll need to put myself in suspended animation once the end times come. Well, if it's a cryogenic freezer, why are there still mustard-covered snow cones in there? <laughs> Just because I'll be in suspended animation doesn't mean I don't want a snack. Somebody needs to explain that to him, um, and also how to say cryogenic, because apparently he can't say it. Um, right. <sighs> I mean, yeah, Bosco's more... Ooh. Hang on. X-ray viewer. So it looks like there's a figure inside that parcel. So we're going to have to figure out how to get a hat. Figure out how to get the figure. See what I did there by complete accident. Is this Jimmy? It might well be, but it doesn't seem like we can actually interact with him. Uh, we've got the parking meter, the office. We've got... Oh, no, hang on. Here's Jimmy. Jimmy Two Teeth. Hey, my missing boxing glove. Oh, and there's a figure. That's my lucky glove. Hey. Jimmy Two Teeth. What are you and your unsavory pals doing in the burned out husk of this robot? The first rule is we don't talk about what goes on in the burned out husk of this robot. <laughs> hey, eat horse. Give it to me. Nothing do it. That's my championship trophy. Right. And I want it fair and square. I always thought being shipless and lazy was its own reward. They're giving out trophies <laughs> now? Boxing championship, wise guy. See ya, sucker. <laughs> Right, boxing. Well, we've got a boxing thing, haven't we? The uh, the boxing doll. So I wonder if we've got to use that on him. Yep, here we go. Oh my god! What the heck is going on? <laughs> what is this? And our challenger, coming direct from the North Pole, weighing in at one pound, 14 ounces without batteries, Foxy! Move your mouse left and right to dodge and click either the mouse button to punch or use the keyboard. Use the left and right arrows to dodge and use A or D to punch. Right, can we use a combination of both? Okay. 
Oh! Okay, he's pretty quick. Oh, okay. He's, 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 he's quite good. I, th I, th I thought he lost every fight. Oh, I see. Does it? Does he raise the hand? Yeah, he does. Okay. Right. We've we've um. Oh, I went the wrong way. So you go the opposite. Damn it! Right. Well, we know what we're doing now. Yes, we would like to try again. Yes. Let's go. Okay. I think I know what we're doing now. Come on then. Right hook, and Boom! Easy. <laughs> that is a hideous toy. <laughs> Reminds me of some of Sid's What's creations that? in Toy Story. Oh no. Bald Borat. <laughs> Do we do the same thing? Yeah, okay, we do, I think. So we... So we go, we go the way that the hand raises, yeah? But something tells me that... <clears throat> if we have to fight Jimmy Tutti, who I'm guessing will be like a final battle... Yeah. But God, this bit is very loud. Okay, so... Oh, God, okay, he's very quick. Wow! Would you like to try again? Okay, so I have not yet begun to fight. Ready? We fight. We, we don't want to get hit with the big glove. Left hook. Left hook. Oh god, he's very quick. Right hook. Left hook. Ouch. God, it really doesn't give you very long to react. Left hook. Oh, the comeback was on with one health. We, we snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. It's the super exclusive war action figure with extra. Ooh, there are pieces missing. I don't see the weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Who needs them? Did Jimmy steal it? I'm no expert, Jimmy, but I bet being a loser helps. <laughs> you, you're right. I, I can't go on like this. Oh, no, Jimmy. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, nice going, Max. Now see what you've done? Jimmy's going to off himself. Yeah, Max. Huh. I always thought guys appreciated a bracing, candid reality check. No. Your suicide causation rate suggests otherwise. Oh, God. I'm going to do it. I'll jump, I tell you. Hang on a second, Jimmy. Uh, it's thing, think of your loved ones. You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if you kill yourself. Mary, she left me. <laughs> You're overreacting, Jimmy. You think? Yeah, sure. yeah. Your wife probably never really loved you in the first place. <laughs> uh, well, things will return up. It's always darkest before the dawn, Jimmy. What the hell does that even mean? Give it up, Sam. Oh, you're right. If somebody as dim as you can tell I'm just phoning it in, why bother? <laughs> So long. Max, I don't think this is helping. I disagree, Sam. I feel much better about myself already. Of course you do. All right, well, we're going to have to, I guess, talk Jimmy um, into not chucking himself off the building. Uh, but we'll do that in the next one. So as always, guys, what on earth was this episode? Thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.